Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I am makeup less for a reason today. I am going to be doing a review or a first impressions and an application of the L'Oreal Paris Nude Magic Cushion Foundation, which is this here. I did get sent this, this is a press sample. I got the color six, which is rose beige, which is, I based that on the other L'Oreal foundations that I have. And it says it's a dewy glow foundation. Now I've always gone for matte up until the last maybe six months. My skin is quite dehydrated, I'm 44. I am changing what I'm looking for in a foundation. Now I have worn this, I did wear this on Saturday, I went and got my hair done and I wore it on Saturday. One of the things that I love about this, before I show you the application, I'll show you what it looks like. So it opens up, there is a nice mirror. I feel this is a bit glary, I think this might be my ring light, so apologies. There is a handy little applicator. Now I haven't used the applicator, nor am I going to. I'm keeping that for touch-ups on the go. Then you have your little plastic lid here, which you open up and there is a seal. Sorry guys, this is really, I'm trying to find the best place to show you. I might do a, a cutaway so you can see. So you take the seal off. I just put this back on just because I'm a bit, bit paranoid about things drying out. I'm sure it won't, but, and then you remove it and you have your cushion. So it's really handy. Now, what I was gonna say was I went to the hairdressers, I had my hair colored. I wear a full face of makeup and my hairdresser, when he rinses it off, takes off my makeup to just about, just above my eyebrows and down the sides of my face. So something like this product will be absolutely amazing. If I'm going out straight from the hairdressers and I need to touch up, I can take this and a little bit of powder and I'm good to go again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply this on my skin and I'm actually going to use um, either the Bobbi Brown uh, now what the heck is this called? The Full Coverage Face Brush, which I love for foundation or one of the Real Techniques brushes. Buffing brush, brush. let's go with that because it doesn't actually say. So I'm going to pop it on. I'm going to put it on one side of my face. I think I'll pop it on the left side because I do have a bit more redness on my cheek here. Now I know how this wears throughout the day. I will come back in a couple of hours because I have got to do some other videos. So I'll pop this on. On camera I'm going to go away and do my makeup the rest of it I'll come back and show you and then I'm going to come back after filming I never wear a foundation for a full day I only have it on for three four five hours so as long as I get that much out of it I'm happy now I did wear this all day at the weekend and it wears really nicely so I do know how it wears on my skin so if you are on the dehydrated or the drier side this is a really really nice product so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to First of all, just pop it on my left side of my face with my brush and let you see how it goes. What I'll do is I'll do the left side with my Bobbi Brown brush and then the right side with the Real Techniques and see if there's any difference. I do know that I do like the application with a brush. I've seen a few videos and the brush is the best, best method. So I'm only just lightly tapping that and that picks up a lot of product. Now, if I'm looking off, I'm just looking off camera. I've got a mirror here. So I am going to just try and do half my face. This possibly is a little bit light for me. I might actually get the next shade when it's in stock, but I can bronze this up nicely. I prefer to get one a little bit lighter than a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just gonna pop a bit more on. Yeah, it's probably just a tiny bit on the light side, but yeah, I can, I can definitely fix that quite easily. So I do has, have redness on my cheek and redness on my nose which I obviously want to cover up, but I also don't want to look like I'm having it plastered on my face. And obviously I've got big bags. Okay, so that is one side done and I can still see quite a bit of redness. So I'm going to do the other side with the Bobbi Brown brush. And I think I'll speed things up just so that you're not here for six weeks. Okay, so that is the right side done, and I actually prefer the Real Techniques brush. This is less dense than the Bobbi Brown, and I realise I said Bobbi Brown when I meant Real Techniques, but I think I do prefer this one for application. So that's both sides done. 
I think they're, they're, it feels to me like there's a little bit more coverage on the right, but I could just be making that up. So I'm going to go in with another layer because obviously that is not enough coverage for me and I'm going to do it again, speed it up, and I'm going to come back when I've done it. sides with two layers and I like this coverage so I'm not going to go any heavier than that I'm going to go off and do the rest of my makeup now I'm going to set this just down my t-zone I'm going to leave the rest I don't get massively oily but I don't want to powder my cheeks and sort of the outer edges of my face in case my skin uh, gets cakey and dry so I'm going to go do that and I'll come back in a minute okay all done and I've tied my hair back I was going to have my hair down because I had it done at the weekend and I've got a little light through it but it looked like <laughs> it just didn't look good so I tied it up so that's my full face done I have just popped a bit of powder through my t-zone and I have to have a shout out to this lipstick this is the color blur from Maybelline and it's in the color very misbehaved and I love it so it's kind of it's kind of matte and it's kind of a stain and it doesn't dry your lips out that is something really important to me because these matte products quite often do dry my lips out. This doesn't and I love it so I am going to get my hands on some more colours. Anyway, I'm going. I will come back later when I finish doing some videos and show you how it goes. So as I said, I probably would go a shade darker. Um, I have bronzed my face but I feel like I look really light through the middle of my face. So I'm going to come back and I'll show you how it's worn. Okay, it is five and a half hours later now so I'm just checking my phone. <laughs> And I have reapplied my lipstick and that is it. So I didn't want to repowder or anything like that. God, my bags are huge. So I like this a lot. I, as I said, I have tried this already. I really like this foundation. For me, for my more mature skin, for my dehydrated skin, this is a really lovely foundation. And the fact that I can just take it with me and I can touch up on the go rather than having to take a bottle and a brush and all that sort of stuff. This is just the most handy little compact. As I said previously, I think at least twice, I definitely would get the next shade down too, or sorry, the next, the darker shade, because this is, this is fine and I can bronze up, but I do want to get the other shade. I do like to have a couple of shades of favorite foundation so I can mix and match depending if I've caught the sun or I'm a little bit paler so I'm just looking in the mirror to see if it's broken up at all now I do have a little bit of dryness around my nose so it hasn't clung to it or anything but I can see a couple of flakes I do find foundation sort of clings around my eyes and it hasn't done that too much with this I just think I've got a nice glow without being too oily and I'm really happy with this. I can see myself using this for a long time. Okay, so that's my pretty much it. But I think after even five and a half hours later, this is pretty much as long as I would wear a foundation. There might be a few ex sort of extreme days where I do keep it on for longer. But generally I work from home. And if I go to an event, it's only three, four, five hours that I'm away from the house. So this does everything that I need it to. It's given me enough coverage. It's covered my redness. It doesn't look like it's caked on. It's not a light coverage it's just the right amount of coverage for me so I love this highly recommend it so guys if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if you've got any comments or questions pop them in the comments box and I'll get back to you I will link this product down in the description bar and if you haven't subscribed guys please do I really appreciate your support I will see you in the next video and thank you very much for watching bye